You have one unheard message. What is up, everybody? It is your girl, Lena, a.k.a. Kitty Kitty, coming back to you with a really quick video. I hope y'all been doing okay, you know, both mentally and physically. I apologize for, like, if you hear weird background noises. I'm working at the moment, but this is the quietest right now it's gonna be. I gotta tell y'all a story time later. About the neighbor up above me but i'll explain that in another video so i've been gone a hot minute but i kind of just had to step back and take a minute to get back to me i've been feeling off for a while and i could start to see it on camera like often on depression or whatever and especially how I've been talking and interacting with people, I definitely feel off when doing that. This sounds so bad, and I'm sorry. I don't know the lady's name right now. The YouTuber, she says, like, how she could be socially awkward. If you have social anxiety, you understand this. Please do not introduce me as your friend and then put me on the spot in front of nobody. Cause I'm gonna embarrass us. 90% of the time, I'ma say something that don't even make sense. Oh, who did your hair? It's beautiful. Okay, cause I seen somebody in Africa with a blue dress on. It was um, like, it was like the length of your hair. What, what, what do they have to do with it? Why did I do that? I don't know if I get nervous. I don't know if I do too much thinking. I just know that what be coming out of my mouth in those awkward moments never makes sense. Baby, I'm sorry. Now normally if I know I'm gonna be around people or in a crowd, I can prepare myself mentally to just kind of breathe and take it easy and don't say nothing stupid. But if it's on the spot and I can't prepare myself, well then I can't be held responsible for what come out of my mouth. Like, I kind of feel like that sometimes. Like, exactly how like that brain shit goes, like what she did. Like, that's me. <sighs> so I've been trying to work on that. The messed up part is, I tell people that are close to me around me about how I've been feeling. And like, I know they say it with love. They'd be like, oh, you're okay, you know, whatever. You know, it's just other people. But like, taking like, accountability to like I know some of it's got to be me like and I know I'm like not like okay in like big ass groups of people just meeting new people that like makes me go into my own little bubble but it's been getting better over the years I can honestly say uh, my husband has been here and helping me through all that so I was by myself, I don't know. Because he has been like a solid support to me. And I don't say I'm back, as always. I never fully come back. But I do want to start being more active. And I'm out of this funk. I'm going to get back to regular shit. In particular, like gameplays. I'm getting geared up to do that stuff. I'm ready to finally show y'all. <laughs> Sorry, I told y'all I was at work. But yeah, I'm gearing up to show y'all my Minecraft town. It's not a complete town, it's sporadic buildings, but it's something I'm proud of. It. Well, that stuff, I want to play Stray. I know people have been talking about it. I want to check that out too. And Halloween's coming up, so I know I gotta tell y'all spooky stories. I gotta get my little outfit together. So you know we gotta dress up and shit. My break is about over, so I will see y'all in another video. Now please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, you know, share this with everybody you know. Is, you know, sharing his character. I'm definitely gonna get over here. But, but, you know, I love you guys. I will 
see y'all in another video.